Countless nostalgic customers are lining up at a Lakewood Italian restaurant set to close its doors after 58 years. It's so busy, Dino's Italian food changed its hours to keep up with the recent demand. Connor McHugh is there now, and Connor, you spoke with the owner about her reasons for closing and this outpouring of support. Well, Kathy, the owner says it wouldn't have been fair to her employees or her loyal customers to just lock her doors and close down the restaurant. So it will be open until September 30th. And in the meantime, so many people are coming because of their memories that they've had to bring in ex-employees to help with that demand. And they're even changing their hours and uh, closing down a day to keep up with food prep. At Dino's Italian Food in Lakewood, there's no such thing as the dinner rush these days. Instead, it's busy every hour of the day. We open at 11 o'clock in the morning and there'll be 30 people or 40 people waiting outside at 11. Among the many loyal customers is Scott Gilbert. He's had the pizza here far too many times to count and Saturday may be the last time. My, my grandma worked in the kitchen. My aunt managed the place for over 20 years. It's just like a home when you come to Dino's. On September 30th, Dino's will close its doors for good after 58 years. Owner Judy Duran says costly repairs to the building and old equipment became too much. We've had some rainstorms and some issues with the equipment, and it's just time. I just can't wait any longer. Ever since the announcement, it's been nostalgia overload, like for Bill Swan, who used to come here in college. Well, for me, it's just I love the spaghetti. I love the homemade noodles. You don't get that anywhere else. Durant says she's proud of what her father built and family maintained. It, it's the traditions. It's the history. Um, little kids came as two and they've had every birthday here and now they're 50. Scott Gilbert is example number one. He plans to freeze some unbaked pizzas in case the family can't come one more time. Uh, hopefully we make it again but if I don't it's been a good run. Duran says she is hopeful to find a buyer but doesn't have any specific plans for the building or the business yet or even herself. She says in October they will auction off, an, auction off a number of things from inside the restaurant. We're live tonight in Lakewood. Connor McHugh covering Colorado First.